What no one prepares you for is how much crying you're gonna do when you're finally in a healthy relationship. I was single for like 10 years of my life and I was dating around and like I had situationships, I fell in love, got my heart broken, whatever. But I never had anyone consistent for longer than a couple months. So now I'm in a healthy relationship and I am having a hard time. Like the actual like panic and trust issues that are coming up for me of having to allow someone to be in my life and to trust them with my feelings, my emotions, my traumas, all of it is difficult. And so much advice online is saying like, oh, the beginning of a relationship should be really easy. It should be smooth sailing. You should be having problems. It should be honeymoon phase, etc." But if you are someone that has trauma, PTSD, a history of toxic relationships, a healthy relationship is going to be very difficult for you. But the difference between that and the pain of a toxic relationship is that you are actually healing. Like that intensity and emotion that you're feeling is you learning to open up again and open your heart and trust someone again. And that is a practice. Like it will not happen overnight. So if you're experiencing kind of the intensity of like letting someone in for the first time in a long time, you are not alone. This is a normal experience and it won't last forever. I hope. <laughs> This is what happens when they ride the carousel and get smashed by Chad and Tyrone. They get obliterated and now some nice guy has to deal with all the emotional damage. I hope she's paying him for those therapy sessions. No, you couldn't pay me enough. I'm picking my future husband. I'm always thinking, is he the right person for me? Is he the right person that's gonna lead my household, my future children, make the right decisions in the family? I'm not worried about if he likes me or not because he's pursuing me. And this mindset is really important because it's gonna come out in the way that you walk, you talk, your attitude, everything. My wallet, Apple Pay, whatever, does not exist when I'm in the presence of a man. The thought of me paying for anything should embarrass him. Therefore, I will save him from the embarrassment and I'm not paying for anything. It does matter how much he makes. And this is not about being a gold digger. This is about stability and security and that most marriages fail because of financial problems. I don't touch any doors in the presence of a man. This is to go in the car, to get out the car, any door. Is he respectful and is he respected? Does he have a plan that he actually executes on? I'm not talking about, oh, I'm gonna do this. I hope to do this. This is my goals. I want to see what he's actually doing because a man without a plan for himself is a man without a plan for his future wife is he a gentleman is he letting me walk on the inside of the street it matters to me what he does in his free time because if it's video games he's out but if it's something like fitness reading personal development that's amazing it does matter to me who his friends are and what they all enjoy doing does he have a good relationship with his family what is his opinions on family how does he talk about women what is his opinions on what a woman should and shouldn't do if i have a problem he should be able to solve it and this is even before the first date date one whatever even as a friend if i come to a man he should be able to solve it and i'm not just talking with resources i'm talking with advice maybe a recommendation he should solve my problems i want this i want that what exactly is she offering what exactly does she bring to the table she has so many requirements and so many demands her attitude is the man's chasing me so if he doesn't have all of those things i don't want him but she failed to acknowledge just because a man is chasing her there's no guarantee that he wants commitment she wants the perfect guy and because of this she'll potentially wait forever until she loses her dating market value she already has. I just got broken up with the guy that I was seeing for a little bit over two months, um, like two nights ago. And we decided to end things. Actually, he decided to end things with me um, over a phone call. And and he was like, oh, you're so attractive. You're so great. You're a very nice person. You have great friends. You have great family. You have a great career. You're such independent women. But I just cannot like you enough for me to commit to you. I just don't picture myself being in a serious relationship with you. And he was also like, I wish that you're less great so we can actually work on it together. But in fact that you're so great and you've done everything right and I still don't like you enough for me to pursue a serious relationship with you. I just, I, I just need to end things with you. And I'm like, if I'm really that great, why wouldn't you want to commit to me? 
I don't understand men these days. As long as, you know, like, as soon as I, I just brought it up, like, being more serious, like, I really want to commit a relationship, I want something serious, they just instantly run away. They're just like, see you later, I'm getting out. It's been, it's been fun so far, but I just can't do this anymore. I, just, I don't know what's up. Can somebody tell me in the comments, please? He kept her around for as long as he could for multiple smashing sessions. And the moment she wanted to commit, he was gone. The way how he over complimented her to make her feel special about the fact he was not committing to her was kind of savage. Bodies, 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 bodies. Here's how to instantly make yourself more attractive to a man. Find something that you are so passionate about, literally anything, something that you could talk about passionately about for like 10 minutes. So many of us think that feeling attractive is actually having our full makeup on, having the best outfit on ever. Hell no. Being attractive is being passionate, is being inspired, is being excited. When you can portray that energy, that is so magnetic, it's so attractive. So really what I want you to do now is focus your energy on getting passionate, finding things that you are so passionate about. And then you can talk about that on your dates and that is going to make you seem so much more attractive. Follow me for more dating tips. So if a woman is passionate about being a feminist or passionate about getting her back blown out, it will make her more attractive? I think we'll put this one in the archive for worst advice given. That was terrible advice. Terrible advice. They were good with me. They know me. Okay, thank you for sharing your personal life to the world. Thank you, come again.